this Bazzini business. I know it's to tell you all along. Hello again. I met my friend Frank Fodi. Talk about something here that this did something to do with a one louder and sonic boom. I, I drinking more iced tea than I used to. Hey gang, Frank Fodi, part of the Telus Alliance, bad boy number one here in Omnia Land. A um, lot of fun stuff to talk about. Omnia 11, we've got new software called version 1.6. We'll get to the sonic boom part a little bit later, but today's feature, if you will, is going to be about something that I'm referring to as one louder. And we'll borrow that line from, you know, uh, Spinal Tap. It's one louder. That's why it goes to 11. When I speak of one louder, I'm speaking of 1 dB. Now, you might be thinking, Frank, 1 dB, that's not a big level difference. Well, in casual discussion, you're right. If I shift the sound of my voice by 1 dB, you're not going to hear much of a change. But when we look at audio from the output of a FM stereo audio processor that's going into the transmitter, changing the level by 1 dB is the same as having 10% modulation or the loudness benefit of an added 10% modulation. Although what we're going to talk about today is getting that 1 dB added loudness within the normal modulation level. A quick refresher on how the FM stereo system operates. In FM stereo, 100% modulation is actually comprised of three components. The um, main 90, really the 90% of the audio level is comprised of the mono signal, which is this L plus R region here, and, and also the stereo information, which is this L minus R signal here. Together, that's 90% of the 100%. The last 10% is this little guy here. It's known as the pilot. If we take this away, peak level drops to 90%, and also the sound of the radio station will go to mono. And what we're going to show later is how we can keep all of this at 100% if the pilot's there or not. So by example, I'm going to come over to a unit. We'll move my buddy here, Mr. Corleone, away. And take away the pilot. You can see the pilot's gone and our peak modulation has now dropped to 90%. This is how FM stereo has operated since the beginning back in 1961. So with the who joining together with the band, we'll put it back into stereo and we're back at 100%. Now, we have an algorithm here where we're able to embed the pilot. It's a different way of bringing the pilot into the mixture. We're not clipping the pilot. Some people have done that old trick, but if we were clipping the pilot, we would be seeing a whole bunch of clipping junk around here. The pilot would be dancing around over here, and there'd be junk over here. Oh, by the way, if you think I'm, if the pilot's not dancing, up on my mod monitor up here, you can see it's nice and steady, not moving one iota. So basically, you, as you can see, the pilot is rock steady, spectrum is nice and clean, and we're able to have not only our 100% modulation, but I'm going to show you here in a moment that the 100% modulation is all audio. Because in a, once the music starts back up, thank you, we'll switch our relay in over here. I'm going to dial out the pilot. You can see the pilot going away. And guess what? The audio is still at 100%. It's 1 dB louder than before. This is basically having the exact same audio processing settings. It's not like we've changed the sound of the processing. It's being able to make use of the composite spectrum in a manner that's beneficial sonically to you, the broadcaster. I'm going to dial back in the pilot. We're back in stereo. Modulation is still at 100%. Um, this is perfect operation. And as a matter of fact, you are now 1 dB louder than before. Now, should anyone else try to claim, oh, yeah, you know, we can do that, or there's other ways of, of accomplishing that, let me tell you something. They're either pulling your leg, they're wannabes, or it's hooey, as uh, I guess I could say to be polite about it. This function at what I just displayed to you is available only in Omnia audio processors, Omnia 11, Omnia 9, 
as well as the new Omnia 7 audio processor. So while many people have felt that we've been the cleanest and loudest to begin with, uh, you better get ready because the police are going to be knocking at your door because you're going to be even louder than you thought before. I'd almost say more loudness than allowed by law, but I think our friends from the FCC will be knocking on my door. So I won't say that. I'll just keep that to live steam railroading. But in any case, this is something that we're really excited about. It's, part, it's all part of the brand new software update known as version 1.6, which also includes Solar Plexus. Um, and, you know, in a way, the sonic boom, you know, sonic boom, sonic loudness and boom for what Solar Plexus brings to you. All from the gang here at Omni Audio, part of the Telos Alliance. And as I um, say goodbye, I also want to say thank you very much for your continued support and look forward to seeing somewhere down the road, or in my case, further down the main line, because I'll be live steaming real soon. Thank you.